Hello, and thanks for stopping by. Today we'll be discussing Kava. Now what is Kava exactly? Well, you're looking at it. Kava is this thing over here. It is an audio visualizer. Some people also refer to it as an audio spectrum. Basically, it takes your audio and it turns it into a waveform that you can visually see. And so let me go over my configuration file. So what you're going to want to do is go to Kava's GitHub, which will be in the link down in the description. Go over there and copy that configuration file and stick it in your .config forward slash Kava. Otherwise, if you like what you see here, just go get the file from my dot files on GitHub. But now that we have our file, let's begin. These are the following changes that I've made to my configuration file. I've set the frame rate to 60. I've set auto sense to 1, which will attempt to decrease sensitivity if the bars peak. I set the sensitivity to 5, which if auto sense is enabled, this will only be the initial value. But this is manual sensitivity of how high your bars are going to go up. The number of bars is how many bars are across this line here. And it can be from 0 to 512. 0 sets it to auto, which means that it will fill up the console. So I set the bars to zero because I want it to fill up the console. I set the bar width to zero and bar spacing to one. The lower cutoff frequency I set to 20 and the higher cutoff frequency I set to 20,000. And if you've ever viewed a parametric EQ, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And all of that was under the general section. In the input section, you're going to want to put the method as pulse and your source will be set to auto. I have mine set to my microphone because I want the audio to be coming from my microphone instead of my speakers. And setting it to auto will mean that it will be coming from your speakers. Under output, I set channels to mono, mono option to average, and reverse to zero. If you set reverse to one, it'll display the frequencies the other way around. Setting the mono option will take input from the left, the right, or the average. And mono outputs left to right lowest to highest frequencies. If you were to do this in stereo, it would mirror both channels with low frequencies in the center. But I like to have mine on mono. Show idle bar heads is set to one because I want it on which are these things down here. I've set the waveform set to 1 because I want to show a waveform. The colors I have set as a gradient, which I've set to 1, but you can turn it off by setting it to 0. And then you just go up here and you remove the semicolons from background and foreground and set your HTML color whatever you want it to be. But for me, I wanted a gradient because I wanted it to match my wallpaper. So I've got my six colors for a rainbow. Color one is going to be the highest. Color six is going to be the lowest color. So the highest color is going to be red and the lowest color is purple. And you can see that it's purple by looking at the spectrum here. And so I've just set my colors to look like a rainbow. Under smoothing, I've set monster cat to one because I want that monster cat look. And I've set waves to one because I want this to look as much like waves as possible. Noise reduction I've set to zero because I want it to be very fast. If you set it to 100, it'll be very slow, but it'll be smooth. On zero, it'll be noisy. I don't care so much about it being noisy. I care about it being fast. Thus, I set the noise reduction to zero. In the equalizer, I've set one, two, and three equal to one. But you can add as many of these as you want for more precision. I choose to only have bass, mid-tone, and treble. And that's pretty much it. That's how I configured my Kava to look the way that it does. It's a really cool app. I like it. I like using it for videos and such. And it's just really fun to look at. It can also be soothing. And with that, we've come full circle. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in the next video.